beat Takeshi with a baseball bat for making this game. Welcome back to Takeshi's Challenge. I made some bad decisions in the last video. And some indifferent ones. Like learning to hang glide and getting a shamisen and learning to play it. Also, I like this menu because it makes the music stop. Even though it does get a little earwormy and a little charming and hold on a moment. Why does it say Grilled Mormons? That is not right! Alright, back to what we were doing. I'm going to the Azumichi Karaoke. And I'm going to drink a little bit. I'm not going to get hammered. Instead, I'm just gonna buzz a little bit. Cause it's time for one of the weirdest sections of Takeshi's Challenge. Nope, I've had enough. I'm good. We're gonna sing karaoke! Sure, why not? But I'm going to beat up on the hostesses first. No witnesses! Armor Chocobo's gonna sing. Flee the store now. Last time I activated the hello button. Hello. Hello. Hello, Ronald McDonald, dude. Yay, I say hello to everybody. I'm friendly. But we're gonna have to use the hello button, or if you're Japanese and playing this on a Famicom, you're going to have to use the microphone. Because we're going to sing some karaoke songs right here. Now, the thing is, the game does not actually make sure you say the lyrics correctly, it just measures sound entering the game. You can even blow into the microphone if you wanted to. But, all of these songs are either broken or really, really, really strict. I'm talking like double S, uh, Dance Dance Revolution strict. So, the only song that isn't strict is right here. Rain of Tears. Let's get ready to sing. I got drunk and got divorced and now I quit my job. I spent my life savings on learning to shamus and that's a guitar in Japan. I have made bad choices, they all feel completely wrong. I hope singing karaoke pushes the game along. Yeah, I did good! I'm gonna save my progress. You have to sing three times. And if you fail any of your songs, you gotta do it all over again. That includes getting buzzed. And that costs money as well. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. What song am I gonna pick? Well, first of all, it's not a ballad. It's actually an Enka song, and I know it's called Rains on Shinkaiichi. Yeah, I learned that from places. Let's sing again! I am pressing the A button, that's all I can do. I don't own a Famicom, and I don't speak moon runes, I'm not Japanese. I don't know the song at all, these words are strange to me. All I know, the name of this song is Reizan Shinkaichi. Yay, I'm some kind of singing genius. That's two times in a row. Make sure you save. It's your only saving grace. Oh well, okay, but I guess you can't guess the song. I'll give you a few hints. It's an Anka song. And it has to do with rains on somewhere. Yep, the green, the green guy got it. Yep, it's gonna be rains on Shikaiji again. We are singing one last time for Takeshi Kitano. He is a demon that feasts on players tears with a skull flask. I hope that he drinks deep from this game he helped create. And Taito, what have you done? You soiled your good name. Yay, but someone hates my singing. It's not my fault I'm a singing genius. We're gonna have words now. Fist words! Of course, it's the Yakuza yet again. I'm immortal, you can't stop me! Make sure to hit the A and B button three times and only three times. Don't mash it. I mashed it last time after I was done singing. I was angry! And here's an old man. Oh, a map. 
Show me this map! He's giving me a treasure map! Thank you! Can you beat up that Yakuza for me? Thanks. What shall we do with the map? This is the legendary treasure map. There's two options here. Exposed to the sun, you have to let the map sit for an hour, and exactly one hour. But we're gonna go with soaking in water. That gives us a little bit of a window. Soaking in water gives you a window of between 5 and 10 minutes from when you start this. So, the sooner the better. And also, make sure to save. So, don't touch anything. Don't move anything. You ruin this map, you gotta sing again, you gotta get hammered, you gotta fight the Yakuza. You gotta do all that again. Don't do it! It's bad. So, we got until like the 10 minute mark to talk about things. This... this is a game, indeed. I should talk a little bit about it, the game's namesake as well, but... Takeshi Kitano, we kinda don't know about much about him over here. We were pretty much exposed to him pretty much from Spike TV. Um, if anybody knows MXC, the Most Extreme Elimination Challenge, the guy that's portrayed as Vic Romano is Takeshi Kitano. That's that's him. If you you could see him from like the 60s or 70s, I think. And of course, that show has absolutely no translation value whatsoever. They d dub in all their own stuff. But at least it's sometimes funny. Kitano over in Japan. He's a comedian, a singer, a poet, a painter, a writer, and an actor in movies. He's a multifaceted individual and they, he's a big celebrity over there. Obviously, he has his own game. But, of course, the other end of that coin, we got Taito. And Taito decided to... The, the rumor is, there's a legend. There's a lot of, not a lot of legends about video games, but Taito's designer sat down with Kitano in a bar one day. Talked to him about this video game they're making about him, and he's giving him ideas. And he's getting hammered on Saki as he's doing so. So that leads to the bizarre moments like uh, right here. We're singing karaoke and now we have to wait five minutes for a piece of paper to soak. Which I want to make sure, double sure I save. And also there's going to be some other moments coming up later in the game that also make you go, what? And then your head probably will explode. But, oddly enough, Taito didn't just release this game in 1986. They released Arkanoid and Bubble Bobble. And you think those are fantastic NES games, and then right next to it, in, in, the, in the store aisle, you'll have like Arkanoid, Bubble Bobble, and then maybe like 25 slots down, there's Takeshi's Challenge, made by Taito. They're like, hey, these two games are good, we should get this game too. And... That's the worst decision any gamer has ever made. Ever. And also, another oddity here, from the, there's a game from the 80s called Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Has a lot of similarities to this, to this game. All the way down to the earwormy music. I haven't played Frankie Goes to Hollywood. It took a while for me to pique my interest just in this game, because... First time I ever saw it, I, it was... Game Center CX, their very first episode with uh, Arino playing a video game, was Takeshi's Challenge, and surprisingly he beat it, even though he seems rather inept at video games. I mean, it's fun that he's inept. He has that kind of ineptitude where he's so bad at it, but then he gets this awesome moment, and you're like, ah! If you guys like video games and you could tolerate hearing Japanese but reading English... You should hunt down the something awful translations of the the show and just watch it. I do sometimes. I still do. I watch reruns of the the thing. I'm watching reruns of a show that's like 10 years old now. Wow. I went through all that information and I still got I still got a good minute yet. This game is holding me prisoner. I have more information, but there's another part of this game that's going to make me wait, and I want to save that information for then. So, this is Takeshi's Challenge! How are you enjoying it, everybody? I, 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 I had to see this game, and once I played through it, 
I actually blazed through it my first time through, because I had a walkthrough. I guess that would kind of disqualify it from being awesome. But I said, and you know what? I have to do this. I have to do this for two reasons. One reason, it's extremely weird, and the second reason is, I'll tell you later. I'm leaving it in suspense. So the time should be coming up right about now. I hope you're enjoying this video. I hope this wait is worth it. I, I bet there's going to be something here that makes at least a little bit of sense. Alright, we're going to try it. Hit the A button to shout. Ah! We got it. That is the map. Uh, these words don't really make much sense, but uh, I've, I've seen the translator version on this at Game Center CX. It pretty much says, go to the fourth island. I don't know how we're going to do that, but hey, we got a map now. And this is very important. Kill the old man. Kill all the old men in the world. I don't care if they give you a wood sword or an email or uh, just a map. Make sure he dies. Why? My first playthrough, when I blazed through, he appeared because I didn't kill him. And he said, You fool! And and then something I couldn't read because the text box went too fast. It was probably like, Do you think I'm going to let you have this treasure? And then he kills you. You do not get the treasure if that old man lives. Believe me. But Japan is dead to us now. Absolutely dead to us. Ah, I'm gonna resist the temptation. I say hello at you. That is my retort now. That is my rebuttal. My final rebuttal. I'm getting out of this place. It's too wacky for me. This is how we get to the airport. We go around the, the block. Oh no, more Yakuza here too. I should have known. Luckily he just despawned himself. Yay, everybody's so happy jumping around. I want to be up there. I have an, an urge to walk on the curb. Also, you can't go horizontal as you're jumping in the air. You're only vertical or this. That's all you got. And you! You look like another old man. You want to keep me from treasure. I have a treasure map now. Yeah. Take that. I completed this game both with killing him and not killing him. He doesn't influence the game at all. He's just really hard to kill. Yay, the airport! I'm going to the South Pacific and never coming back. If you did something wrong, like not get divorced, not quit your job, and not do other things, well, the shamisen's optional. I'm gonna show that off. But if you don't do any of the vital stuff, this plane explodes for no reason. That's how mean Takeshi is. Look at this guy. This guy in the blue suit. He is evil and mean. And now he's not wearing a blue suit anymore. Welcome to the South Pacific. Next time on Takeshi's Challenge? We do things that don't involve singing, but they're going to be harrowing and frustrating for everyone involved. Good night, folks.